Good morning, Roosevelt Park Schools. Good morning, Robert Gordon. Good morning, Aldine. And good morning, Sherman Schools. It's Coach Lowe here bringing you another P lesson for this week. This week's lesson is going to be on throwing. Okay? There are two types of throws the underhand and the overhand. All right, what we're going to go over today is the grip, your stance, and then your follow through. All right, first thing I want to show you today is your grip. If I was going to use a ball or a softball or a baseball, my grip would look like something like this, two fingers on top, my other two fingers wrapped around the side and my thumb opposite, all right? The palm of my hand never touches the ball. That's whether you're, you're, you're throwing a baseball, even when you're throwing a football, the palm of your hand never touches the ball. Today we're gonna to be throwing uh, a ball. Um, the grip on the football is a little bit different than it is on a ball. Um, we'll go over that a little bit later. And then same thing with basketball. If you're shooting a basketball, this part of your hand never touches it, okay? So the palm of your hand, really when you're shooting or throwing, a ball does not touch the ball at all. All right, so you got your grip. So make sure you have a good grip, okay? Just like so, okay? Next is gonna be your stance, all right? If I'm throwing towards the wall over there, I'm gonna have my non-dominant foot in front. Meaning, so I'm a right-handed person, my left foot is going to be in front. Okay, that's going to be my stance. All right, my stance is going to be ready, my ball is going to be up, my elbow is going to be up by my ear. Okay, my follow-through is a step towards the target that I'm throwing to or I'm aiming at. Okay, throw the ball out in front of me. All right, follow-through towards my pocket. So, you, you get your grip, get your stance, elbows up, ball by your ear, step and throw. Okay, make sure you're always looking at the target that you're throwing at. All right, so that's our cue. All right, so that's our cue to throw. Right, we're gonna practice that a lot today. I hope you made your targets. If you didn't make the targets, go ahead and click on that video and make a couple targets. You don't have to use water bottles, you can use milk jugs. You can use just about anything. Here I got a bunch of different targets that we're gonna use today. And uh, we'll start with that now. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the camera. Okay, so when you're throwing, you can use multiple, you can use many different objects here. I have just a, a crate full of different equipment. All right, first we're gonna do the underhand toss. All right, so when you do your underhand toss, you get the same grip. Instead of throwing coming up by your ear, you're gonna start by your hip. All right, you start here, you bring it back to your hip, and you release in front of you. All right, and knock down the, 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 uh, the bottles because the water jug was just a little unstable. So I'm just looking to hit that water jug. Okay, you can also do the underhand throw um, using a target like this. Uh, five Below has these. They're five bucks. They come in a box stuff. Look a little bit different than this. They believe they're blue at Five Below. To underhand here. Challenge yourself a little bit. You know, you can start close, but if you if you hit it every time, back up a little bit and challenge yourself. All right. We're gonna aim. I'm aiming right for the middle of that bullseye. I start in front, bring the ball back, nice and easy, nice and easy. Underhand throw, you're really not trying to throw for speed or power, more for precision, you're truly trying to aim and hit a, a spot exactly, okay? So that's pretty good, so that's the underhand throw. Okay, overhand throw, um, again, you can use this target, you can use your water bottles, you can use your milk jugs, Whatever it may be. But make sure every time that you do it, you have your you've got your grip, you got your stance, and your follow-through every time. Okay? Remember, you're stepping with that non-dominant foot, so if I'm right, I'm stepping with that left. Okay. You can even challenge yourself a little bit where hey, if you, every time you hit the target, you take another step backwards. Make it hard for yourself. That's the only way you're gonna get better. Take a step back. That's okay. It's all right to miss a couple times. This is, like I said, this is practice. I'll show you the middle one here. All right. I have all different types of equipment that you can use. All right. Overhand. Good grip. That's right, really, that's like a feather ball. All right. 
Can slams, these are for can jam, for frisbee, but you can use them for anything else. You can use them for targets to throw balls into. These I got again at five below, five bucks. All right. So practice your throwing. This is an activity you can do inside or outside. All right. It's getting it's a time of the year where it's fall, or we're gonna have to start finding some more activities to do inside. Um, this is a great activity to do inside. Practice throwing a little bit every day. All right, Coach Lowe, signing off.